Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 4, Episode 5 and 6. That's why the episodes. Sense. This has to be one of those training, right? Like, and also since he's still alive. Yeah, it's one of those training. Yo, Future Toy needs us on the bridge. So what's not right about this musician? What like, what is your feeling telling you? To be honest, when you're kind of in this kind of mission all the time, none, none, none of the mission are gonna feel right. All of them are gonna feel wrong, but they're gonna have to do it. Activating cloak. Better work this time, Donnie. Finally, a little excitement. The flora and fauna here are very strange. I don't understand these readings at all. Oh, uh. little space monkey. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks evil. Aren't you uh, cute? It's gonna bite you. Yep. <laughs> nice one, genius. Now you probably have space rabies. Oh, we were walking for miles, Donnie. That scanner's as useless as that gap in your teeth. Oh, let's not. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Better. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Baby gap. <laughs> Seriously, you have gaps, you don't want to talk about gaps. You two are wondering the rope. I think it's the world that's making them like this. You see this? This is my smacking hand. I'll use it. He's right, guys. The professor is acting like a parent now. Like this. Must be from some sort of ancient civilization. Duh. Mikey, you're in my anger zone. <laughs> you're in my anger zone. <laughs> Where are they all angry? Oh. You're blocking my shot, Johnny. Ah, uh, you do not mean to block a shot. Come on. I could have handled it. You can breathe on the planet. That's what you're going to find out. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Dudes, <gasps> we can breathe the air here. Sweet. Donnie. You telling me we could breathe the entire time? Back off my shell, man! <laughs> what, dude? Well, he's off. Leo, stop! Behind you! Nice. No, Leo and the uh, people are working well together. The rest, not so much. Oh. Ooh. Again, okay, seriously. Draw. Then focus it on the demon dudes. Oh yeah, there are so many of them. They're distracting them from finding what they need to find. Is that the statue? That statue? Uh, I love you, bro. Leo! What, what is happening? I thought, it, I thought they were gonna, you know, fight. Understand what's going on? The planet. It keeps messing with our heads. We gotta remember that. We have to focus. Guys, did you notice something? That is one dope alien temple, yo! I bet you this place is loaded with booby traps. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Ah, uh, getting trapped. That's the worst that could happen. Yeah, like that. Let's see if you just do it as if, you know, I like. The alien? 
What does it say, Professor? It's in ancient Aeonia. What does that mean? Yo, check it out. What do you Don't. think this? No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Oh. It does that, you big dummy! I didn't know that it was. You shouldn't do that. Screw my head. <laughs> stop touching. Stop. That, that was completely my bad. Yeah, that was a bit for sure. This is exactly what they are looking for. There it is. No, get it, destroy it. That's all you have to do. If you could destroy it. Wait, wait, hold up. What's it doing on an altar anyway? Has anyone thought of that? Oh my god! Yeah, they're just running. Come on, use your guns. Oh yeah, we, we always forget that you know he is. He is that he called that he is with him. We should just do that to the rest of this uh this <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The first fragment belongs to Mozart. Yeah, they're gonna lose this one. They're not gonna get it. There's no way they're gonna win this been set in stone no! and now it is sealed in stone Possess. the emperor will make me an admiral for this captain moza look for, for the first time actually i'm proud to see those uh, demons or bait demons we're losing time they're getting away Crystal. Oh no, future toy. Ooh. Ah, you're not almost there. No. Go away, bro. Go. Put it, don't look, just go and put it in. No, you, you see where it needs to be, just run towards it. Oh, I thought it was near. It seems to be far. No, no, use your brain power, or whatever you usually use. Oh, it's not green. Feels like a huge weight off my brain. <sighs> Nicely done, April. The Aeons! Whoa, look at that! Thank you. You said so, the Aeons are more like angel, sort of like. All along? The Utrom gave us the fragment to protect. But it's immense power in trans It is a tiny fragment of our soul star. It will bring you both luck and power. Oh yeah, exactly what April needs. Especially we know that you know the power that she possesses. Oh yeah. No green. Floor, Fugitoid. There's still time to catch up to the Triceratons. <laughs> huh? Whoa, bros. What an adventure. You try me to Bonus, that was an adventure. Yeah, if ancient cosmic beings can be transformed like that, I guess that goes to show anyone can be corrupted by power. Let's wait the next episode. Open. I bet their food is out of this world. Ah, that's a good one. More than nine. The bonus, that was a good one since they're out of the world. Break into the Triceraton mothership, did I not? If you want to steal the first piece of the black hole generator, the first step is to distract them with pe- Oh, come on! Stay behind! Oh, this is alien racism! <laughs> <laughs> alien racism. <laughs> uh, monkey! <laughs> 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 
They're like you don't look alien enough, so you have to stay here. Or tentacle contact with anyone or anything. These are outlaws. Oh no 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 no! We know for sure that he is going to he is going to mess up something up. That's what Mikey does. No. Is odd. Wait! Stop! Oh, it's you. And these idiots is your muscle, huh? Sorry, looking bunch, I must say. So is it trisectons? Trisectons. I'm getting it right. Trisectons. Okay. Triceraton mothership. Trisecton. Trisecton. Okay. Mind if I have a little bite? No! No! Here when you get the other fitty, losers. No, you see, this is the way you draw your, your, your souls and start fighting. Mm. Huh? Can I draft you instead? I think I remember that guy here, you know, the one who was drinking. Man, just make good on the deal and we'll forget this happened. Forget it! The deal's off! You liars! Thieves! What? Uh, no, you are the one who lied and is stealing. Sir, let's go! Yeah, we don't need you, belly bomb! I got way better secrets than you'll ever have! Like black real class act. I thought you knew this guy, Professor. Should I See, Mikey has already messed things up by missing the black wall piece. Let's blow off some steam in the hollow room. You down for some training, Mikey? Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna chill and scope some Chris Bradford and his two rough crew. Those are robots. They look tiny and big at the same time, like... Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny. So they do get into your mind, I think that's what they do. Chris Bradford and his two rough crew. A Chris Bradford production. To watch every TV channel at once. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do what I can to help guide you through. We'll find his inner Mikey. Remember, if the neutrinos destroy you inside his mind, your body here you. will be reduced to a vegetative state. This is a Hold bad up, idea. Wait a second! <laughs> you should have said that before you. Putting things on our head. Oh yeah, this is a a way to get you to you know. Teleport? No, no yep. you're in Mikey's memories, memories, which, which may, may not, not be totally, totally accurate, accurate because, because you know. You know. <gasps> the neutrinos. I thought they'd be a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, in the brain they're bigger. Uh, they are so tough. Their body is like made of metal. These guys are built like tanks. Oh, they, it's like they can rewrite reality in the dreams. Sorry about the hard drop. Had to get you guys out of there fast. What the hell? What? Uh, what kind of language is this? That's about a thousand times weirder than usual. Who are you calling weird? Dude, calm down. It's us. Ha! Like you're ever calm. Well, now this. <laughs> it's like you're ever calm. Hello, funny. Okay. This is how we make it look like it based on how we eat pizza. Which of these? No, is that's no. okay. Mikey, do not do that. Oh yeah, it's gonna do that. <laughs> Teenage mutant astronauts pick up part my astro thoughts. Discover. <laughs> Mike Ruffy. Yeah, that's not something I was expecting to see, but I'm kind of enjoying it. 
Yep. Center of my psyche. Do you think he means his ima Mikey's imagination? Makes sense. Whenever things get bad, password. Pizza. Pizza. Even I knew the password. Put it in 2D. Yep. Pizza, 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 pizza. This is already confirms what you already know. Monkey is totally empty in the head or weird in the head. Like this is weird. This is imagination. Look, they're writing on a pizza. I hope so. Okay, what's the plan, big bros? Oh, they uh, find you. They found you. Yeah, it's them! Don't let them near me! <laughs> Two, you like us. Then we need an inside advantage to level the playing field. Which April comes in play to this is your mind. No one else does because of your massive and freakishly powerful imagination in here. Okay, yeah, that's true. You don't have to be afraid of him anymore, Mikey. You can help us beat the- That's a token of, you know, bringing some of his memories of the villain they've made, and, you know, the crew would just help out in the fight. Melted, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, uh, yep. I didn't expect to see. Renate, you know, the love of Mikey. Some job, little Mikey. Booyaka, booyaka! You did it! Ah, <laughs> oh, the little imagine? scene, angry Mikey. Take that! Oh, I'm sure that he squashed them. Don't worry, Lord Drake. It admitted now the neutrinos be. <laughs> There's only one way to make this right, belly bomb. To us the information. You idiots are gonna take on the whole Triceraton army? Uh, you lucky. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it feels like. Ah, you show that jerk how it's done, little Mikey. <laughs> Thanks, bros. That means a lot to me. Now let's go bust some dino heads. Booyaka Bunga! Yeah, you played a huge part in this episode, Mikey. Yeah, when he did, that's what he did, you sort of win, uh, what, what they wanted to do, you know, sort of completing the mission and actually not become a failure that they faced, you know, you know like episode 5, which in total, I won't say it was much of a failure, it's much of a, like, yeah, it was a failure, let's not lie, let's not lie, it's, it's a failure, but at the same time, there was also, like, we also know that the, uh, the kind of safety, you know, those, those sort of, demon things and now, now they became like sort of like angels and all that i forgot the name already you know i'm already having a hard time you know pronouncing uh terrestrial tones terrestrial tones right terrestrial tones terrestrial tones i think i'm getting the hang of the name you know obviously you know you guys wouldn't have watched this show many times They're like how can you miss that how can you not say that name like it's easy it's terrestrial tones you know it's easy like just like that yeah it's a little bit difficult you know when it's just it's just difficult <laughs> that's the really only explanation it's kind of just difficult you know just to come out the way you know in the mind is like obviously i can say this but when you want to say it uh yeah you kind of mumble a little bit and you just mess up the name uh but i think i'm getting the hang of it like it's it's the terrace tones terrace tones tricet tones it's tricet tones right 
prototype tricyclones, tricyclones. I don't know which one is right, but I believe the first one, tricyclones, you know, is the right, right ones. I don't think there's a key in it, like tricyclones. I don't think there's that. Uh, but yeah, if I'm getting, if I'm even, if I say that one, you understand what I'm talking about. So as long as I get closer to what I'm want to say, I think it will be success, right? Yeah. But this is the, uh, the episode five. Yeah, I do. And I do think that's the episode, the, the first time we just seen the piece of the black hole, the first time we saw it in this season. And I you know it's not something I was expecting to see in episode 5, but at the same time when I saw it, I was like, it's about time, you know, we have had a lot of adv- adventures, and we know that there are three pieces, so yeah, I need to spread them out and include out the season. But this it is about time we, you know, we get to see one of those uh, pieces. Now, obviously, I think when I saw it, I were, or when we were heading to the planet, I wasn't really expecting them to succeed on the mission, and that's what happened. They didn't succeed on the mission, you know, they end up being doing a side mission, which was saving the planets, or the ions, or they were called the ions, uh, you know, these beings, you know, the oldest beings on the universe, you know, the first one, to be, not the first one, to create, maybe they were the first one, but, you know, the first intelligent one, uh, to ever create and they were they were more like nature beings and they are powerful and all that uh, but when they actually accepted you know this uh, mission of keeping the pieces apart so that you know don't be used for even all that you know and uh, the piece was you know it was strong the worship did and it, it kind of turned them uh, into evil bait demons uh, you know, and those bad demons kind of reminded me of these parademons from, you know, the dark side. If you know dark side, you know, it does have these parademons. When I saw them, you know, that the first thing that came to my mind, I thought oh, parademons, but obviously in this one, they're like beds, so they're like demons, so bad demons. Kind of makes sense, right? So yeah, I do get the name. And the episode overall, I think I enjoyed it. I very much enjoy it. So far, I very much enjoyed the season. Like, there isn't really an episode where I'm like, okay, I just want to turn this off. Or, you know what? Yeah, it, it's okay, you know. But, you know, it's, it's it, mostly it's because, you know, it's something new. And I know the season three does have something new, like, you know, being on the farmhouse and all that. But to me, it just kind of get old real fast. Well, this one is like we're meeting new characters. I think that's the difference from the first part of season three and this one is that in the first part of season three, we were on the farm and Obviously, we did meet some new characters, but it was never really much of a part of the story. It was just day and day's done, you know. We meet the character, you never really expect to see them again. It was they're in the, uh, this farmhouse where they're obviously going to go and the other way around. It was, you know, they're going to go to this day the for this um, new character that we'll see there. They're going to never, we're going to, we're going to never see them again. But the difference is that, you know, in this one, it's like these characters we see, like the first villain you always see in this season, like that guy, I forgot his name already. I saw him in this episode too, which he kind of proves my point is that when you see these villains, you know, uh, they sort of like not just one time villains, like obviously, special, we're gonna see him sometime, you know, we're gonna see him. Uh, the guy was sent special too, obviously, we saw him in this episode. Then this guy with the one eye, um, Expecting, you know, I think it was Belly, whatever Belly the name. I'm expecting to see him in the future again. It's, I won't be like disappointed if we don't see him again. You know, he didn't really, he wasn't like that kind of character way. We can just see he's physically strong, therefore, he's gonna become what, what kind of a like somewhat of a mage. But I would also be surprised if he does return because they kind of made him seem like he's the, that guy who was a spy across, across the galaxy where he kind of have a lot of information about a lot of things. Therefore, he sells that information to these, uh, you know, leaders and all that, so that, you know, he can, uh, you know, earn some living in the space, you know, in this galaxy and all that. So, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, I think because of that, I feel like we might see him again, you know, maybe talking to the Tresectons. Yeah, you see, I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, you know, talking to the Tresectons and, you know, giving them information about the Black Piece and about the information, you know, years, you know, something else. Well, that's what he does, so I won't be, sub- I won't be surprised to see him. But it's he is not some one of the characters that I'll be like, I really want to see this character, I really want to see this character. He has to come back and all that, you know. But uh, then again, like I said, I really do like him. Then you know, this uh, episode six, right? Is the one we just watched. Um, 
they won't make it part you know with the little um with the name the name the name the name yeah and nails yeah you know those little things uh that were big in the dreams uh, and then mike was a sort of you know central focus about this and this one you know and each season does have a two or three episodes where they kind of focus on mike and you know the surprising part about that is that i thought you know mike out of all the characters it would be the least out of the characters to get you know central focused episode but he seems to be the most even out of leo leo usually you know because he's the main character you'd expect it to see him you know i want to say he's, the, yeah, he's kind of the leader therefore sort of the main character in a way but they're all the main characters but i feel like you know michelangelo does have more episodes now uh, that are more center focus about him than leo does and the rest of the group actually so yeah i just feel like if it, i'm not saying i'm complaining i actually do enjoy this episode and this one was kind of funny to just get into this weird mind of michelangelo considering that we always laugh about how his mind is sort of like empty big or you know that um it's nice to actually go and see what is actually happening in mike's mind and to be honest uh you know they kind of confirmed what you already know this is something um, almost amusing oh no then that's the wrong way amusing there is something amusing that will warm mind especially that uh in a mic you delete one and the, that place is just amusing in a way like it's 2d it's glowing it's just alive in a way would like we wish the world it would be but the world is not like that the world is ugly in a way you know some parts of it are ugly majority of them especially where you mess up high you get what i'm saying uh so yeah the thing that is amusing but at the rest it's, it's, it's a little bit you know sort of like an intelligence and one of the things that one of the characters actually said i think it was when i tell us it don't tell rafael it was not leo but i think it was don't tell rafael and they did say something like you know this kind of makes sense consider that you never grow past the age of six this kind of confirms that you know, when the you know these guys were at the age of like uh six or someone or six or eight or you know all of that uh that's when they got mutated and to become titles then they started growing you know when they were actually you know changed into mutants and all that so their brain isn't actually developing as much fast as it could be could have been as they were turtles you know little turtles you know just the turtles oh, really is that i don't know i'm getting confused if that's how it works consider that or do you think you know because of everything that they're, they're learning their mind will also grow but if you know it's like teaching a six year old even their body is growing a lot of stuff it's hard for them to you know get the grasp of it yeah it's kind of confusing when you really do think about it in that way but i do hope you know i uh, understand what i'm trying to say they're kind of say it, they say the idea that's sort of like oh this can, it kind of makes sense but now that i think about it like maybe it does make sense maybe if you really think about it, it does not make sense but either way you know i just think my point is just you know his head you know his mind or know that it's just like a childish mind you know very very childish like and you know really to think about all the characters you would expect you know in leo's mind to be more but i have to leave the team i have to success and i think there was an episode in season one or season two when he was you know facing that kind of issue where he said no matter what i do you know i'm gonna get my friends you know my family my uh my group you know my, my team killed you know that uh we'd expect to see some something like that and all you know the training and all that because that's what kind of what kind of a character is uh, in rafael's mind you expect to see a lot of anger that's it you know you expect to see a lot of anger and in him fighting his way through trying to just do a lot of things in more physical form than mind which is his character you know usually deals with a lot of his uh, problems with their fist you know that's how it that's just how he rolls then when it comes to uh donatello you'll expect to see something intelligent in his mind where he's kind of with computers and just trying to fix stuff you know being being just smart you know that uh, and of, of course there will be a pro there will be a pro on the side like if, if the easy if he's not busy doing that he's busy memorizing about him and maybe uh, and, and a pro you know becoming a thing or maybe not but that's something that i, I would expect you to see in his mind uh case in his mind hmm no you know you know uh yeah it will be just heading you skating across the yeah just that's what he will be doing nothing more uh, and then he will be with his pet and all that 
yeah, I don't think there's much more. Maybe you know, a little bit of April. You know, the April is minded. You just the April is minded. I can't really. It's just more of like you know thinking about home. You know that you know this is just a one thing. Their mind would work. You know, because so that we saw Mike's mind. So then maybe about this would what out get to see in their minds. But yeah, I guess the, the episode I kind of enjoyed it in a weird way because it was weird and unexpected and all that. At least they got all some information on, on, on what they wanted, which was a success at the end. So yeah, that's a good thing, right? So yeah, guys, if you like my reaction, make sure that you do leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think about this episode? With that being said, we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.